I mean, Venus is kind of like, she's not all, she's not really, I mean, she's the empress. She's unconditionally loving, okay? But when Venus gets into Aquarius, man, things can get real weird real quick. We've got a full moon coming up here uh, in, over the weekend. Um, today is the 25th. This new, this full moon is going to be um, on uh, throughout the, like through the weekend. So Friday, Saturday. So like the 26th to 27th, depending on where you are in, on the planet. Yes. In the world. Um, and so in terms of the astrology of this full moon, the full moon is going to be in Leo, contrary to popular belief. Contrary to what uh, mainstream astrology or um, tropical astrology would tell you, the full moon is actually in Leo and not in Virgo. Virgo gang, you know. Now, uh, for those of you that are fairly new to me, for those of you that don't really know, I study sidereal astrology, okay? And sidereal astrology takes into account where the actual constellations are in our sky versus where they were thousands of years ago when tropical astrology or what I like to call Babylonian astrology was put into place. Let's talk about the energies of today. Again, today is the 25th of February. All right. So if you're watching this after the fact, just let me know, just, just keep that in mind. Um, and I especially wanted to, to, to really understand, pay attention to where the planets were today, because today, I don't know about you guys. And often, um, y'all know that y'all have been following me that for so long, you know, that often what goes on in my life is reflected into yours and that's what helps us connect so much because I'm here talking about it and y'all get to hear about it and we can relate, we can vibe, we can do all that good shit, right? So today was feeling like a very emotional day for me. Um, and it was still, it was weird. Like it was emotional and yet I wanted to take action and I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. And I looked up and I was like, I was like, you know what? Let me see where the moon is right now. And I was like, sure enough, yup, the moon was in Cancer today. I don't know, I actually don't know exactly when the moon officially shifts into Cancer or shifts from Cancer into Leo, but obviously it's going to happen within the, this 24 hour range because this full moon that we're happening, or that we're having is in fact in Leo and Leo comes right after uh, Cancer. So when I saw that the moon was in Cancer, I was like, yep, this makes a whole lot of sense. So on top of that, we have the sun in Aquarius. And again, this is, tro this is sidereal astrology, not tropical astrology, okay? But the sun is in Aquarius. The moon, I'm, I kind of feel like the moon is kind of transferring from Cancer into Leo right now. But okay, the moon is in Leo. It, it, I don't know exactly when the moon is moving into Leo, but um, it's happening uh, in time for this full moon. Okay. Uh, we have Mars, which is in Taurus. And from what I looked, what I could see in the app, it was still, it was like just leaving Aries and moving into Taurus. I kind of feel like there's a little bit of energy, a feeling when it comes to Mars, there's a little bit of that Aries energy. We'll get into to that in a second, but officially it's in Taurus right now. We have Mercury in Capricorn and we have Venus in Aquarius. What is, what does all of this mean? Well, first of all, let's just take note and let's just, let's just like recognize the fact that Mercury has in fact stationed direct. No more Mercury retrograde, at least for the, the next few months. However, we do have that shadow period of Mercury being in retrograde still in effect. So it's not like uh, all of the effects of a Mercury, Mercury, retrograde, Mercury, Mercury retrograde all of a sudden grind to a halt. No, there's still a little bit of like about a week or so West, where we're going to be dealing with that Mercury retrograde energy. So with the moon having shifted into Cancer this past Wednesday, so yesterday basically, um, and now shifting into Leo, Yesterday, Wednesday could have been a pretty emotional day for you. Um, the moon is your emotions. It's also so it's also your mind and your thought process. And with the moon being in Cancer, there may be a lot of energies surfacing in terms of or emotions and memories coming up in terms of family, uh, your emotional well-being, your house, your home, um, and any and everything like that. Uh, and then. We have Venus also that I want to talk about here. Venus is in Aquarius right now. So Venus is the ruler of Taurus, as we know, Taurus and Libra. Venus is the planet of love and um, and pleasure and appreciation and nature and all that beautiful stuff. Yes. 
Um, so with with Venus being in Aquarius right now, that kind of allows us to look at our lives and say, okay, what really works for us? If something weird about you is coming up or something different about you is coming up, with Venus in Aquarius, this is influencing you to appreciate that, to own that, to, to, to put that on display, to love that about yourself, or at least just to become familiar with it. All right. Now, Mars is in Taurus at the moment. And we all know Mars is the planet of action and of war sometimes. Um, with Mars having transferred from Aries now into Taurus, there could be some energies of uh, feeling restless, feeling like you might want to get started, get going on something, especially during the Mar Mercury retrograde or just over this last period of time where something new has come to your awareness. Um, there's a new passion project that's come up. There's something new about yourself that you want to express, especially also with Venus being in Aquarius, something unconventional. With with Mars being in Aries, I feel like at that moment you may have had time to start to get some momentum behind it or at least start to get your gears running. And now that we have Mars in Taurus, there could be a little bit of a slowdown of that because with Mars being in Taurus... Taurus is an energy of, yes, steadfastness, of consistent work, but it's also an energy of allowing things to take their time when it happens. Rationally, I just heard. Allowing yourself to appreciate the path, appreciate the journey, because there's no way you're going to rush a Tauren or into anything. But at the same time, with uh, Taurus is also a, 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 a sign of nature, a sign of allowing things to grow, tending to your garden, enjoying the fruitfulness of life and the abundance of life. So while it, there may be a little bit of energy with Aries, with, I'm sorry, with Mars now moving from Aries into Taurus, there may be an energy of feeling like things are slowing down for you. You may have had all kinds of uh, momentum and drive to do something, and now, now you're in this slower period where maybe for some of you some of the action that you may have put into place during while Mars was in Aries is now taking the time to grow so now this might be a moment where you planted all the seeds you got all the action done while while Mars was in Aries and now you just have to kind of sit back and let nature take its course focus on watering and nurturing things there really isn't much there isn't much that you can do too much extra that you can do. So I was kind of, as I was feeling through these energies today, I was kind of feeling that friction of Aries and Taurus because Aries rules who? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, of Mars and Taurus because Mars rules who? Mars rules Aries. And Aries is a very drive-driven and act, action-oriented action sign. Taurus is driven, sure, is a mover, sure, is a, is a shaker, sure, but is not trying to move as quick as Aries. And that's where they really kind of butt heads a lot, all right? So if you're feeling any sort of resistance right now in terms of what it is you want to do or the direction that you're moving in, especially if there is something brand new that you're trying to develop, that you're trying to co-create with the universe, something that may not necessarily be conventional. It may be something very different, very, very new for you with Venus being in Aquarius. It's not the time to really push it too hard. It's not the time to look at this and say, you need to grow. No, you actually need to sit back, chill and allow it to grow. Okay. Last thing I want to talk about here before we, because I want to pull some cards for this. Uh, Mercury, we have Mercury and Capricorn. So a lot of what <clears throat> a lot of what you might be going through, a lot of what uh, uh, Mercury being in retrograde was about could have been you trying to decide on a new direction that you're going in, okay? There may have been with Mercury in retrograde, really, really, especially since it was in Capricorn, it really may have influenced you to really dig into your livelihood, into your career, and really try and figure out, is this right for me? Especially with, Be with Venus being in Aquarius at the same time, because Venus is influencing you to love yourself, love all parts of yourself. So Mercury in retrograde in Capricorn really could have helped you come to an idea or an understanding of 
what it is that you need to do differently. Is there a career change that you need to go through? And so now, Mercury being stationed direct, there could be some new endeavors that you want to try, new, 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 new experiences that you want to have. You may want to go in a new direction in uh, in career, especially again with being in with Venus being in Aquarius. There could have been something brand new, something crazily unconventional, or that 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 you have come to on terms with, or that you decided that direction that you want to move in and now that's the, the energies are really kind of supporting it okay they really are supporting it oh I and then there was a question that that came up came to mind while I was really thinking about this and writing down my notes in terms of Mars being in Taurus I know you may want to do something now you may want to take action now but does it have to happen now that's the question I want to ask you I want you to ask yourself does it have to happen now all right kids um so I want to pull a little bit, a little cards here. Um, I want to start with the Moonology Oracle deck. I really love using this deck when I am working with the full moon and trying to get energies on the full moon. So let's get some of that and see. One more shuffle here. Let's just see. So with this full moon being in Leo, okay, that is in terms of sidereal astrology. With the full moon being in Leo, what messages do we have for the collective? What can we talk about here? What can we say about this full moon being in Leo? I definitely heard love yourself more. Oh, okay. Well, this is what I wanted to say about also this full moon in Leo. So we all know, just like myself, Leo is a very expressive energy. And while I was kind of feeling through it, I was, I was picking up on the fact that there could be some individuals right now that are, um, that are made, that are more expressive than, than, than usual. Okay. The full moon tends to be a time of, it, and well, I mean, I'm not exactly sure which is best. The full moon being a time for release or a full moon being a time for cultivation. We'll say, we'll say, especially with the full moon being in Leo right now, we'll say this full moon is a really good time for release. So there could be some people, I'm, and I'm picking up on children, especially, especially if you guys have kids and this is happening for you, please let us know, like put it in the comments. But there could be some people who are normally very introverted, very non-expressive, that are all of a sudden coming out of the woodwork, having all kinds of things to say, wanting to do all kinds, just being very expressive. So keep in mind, though, with the full moon being in Leo, this really could be an explosive full moon. And it ironically, ironically, it's happening on a weekend. OK, so there may be some people really cutting loose, really getting getting down and dirty, especially if you've been like uh, cooped up in quarantine or, or, or isolation or whatnot. And you just I just feel like there is an energy of just wanting to let your hair down. And <laughs> I love it. Wanting to let your hair down, wanting to express. OK, so full moon in Leo. What can we talk about with the collective here? What messages do we have for the collective in terms of this full moon in Leo? Okay. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First card out. We have adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. But this is the energy that I feel like we were in while Mercury was in retrograde. Okay. Especially with Mercury being in Capricorn. Capricorn being the, you can call him the CEO of the Zodiac. Very business oriented. Um, but also Capricorn is, while it's still, while it's still a, fi uh, I'm sorry, an earth energy, it's a cardinal energy okay i am danny thank you so with with Ca with mercury having been in retrograde in capricorn capricorn being a cardinal energy this was a really excellent time for you to break the mold to break free of something okay and thus we have adjustments are required but again i feel like this is the energy that you were in before Right. In which you were realizing adjustments need to, to be required. And then uh, I'm sorry. And realizing that just adjustments are required or were required, especially with Venus in Aquarius. This was helping you accept some things about your life that maybe you did. You you put into <laughs> I just heard solitary confinement, um, maybe some things about yourself, part personality traits or things you wanted to do, things you wanted to express that you were just kind of pushing away. All right. Um, but now it's time to let this out. Now it's time to let this free. You have believe in the impossible. 
And, and, and between that Venus and Aquarius energy, I kind of feel like that's what they're saying to you right now. Believe in the impossible. You can do anything you want. Express yourself in the way that you feel is best for you. Danny, yes, I will check my email. Don't you worry. Ah, okay, good. So now the next card that came out is it's time to release negativity, but that is in reverse here, all right? So I really do feel like there's a lot of negativity that's being reversed, okay? A lot of, or, or released. And this kind of feels like negativity on a personal level. I know Venus is a lot about interpersonal relationships and how you relate to others and, and, and all that stuff. But I was really feeling, as I was feeling through this energy today, I was really feeling like, at least right now, this Venusian energy is very much directed at the self. Okay, I really feel like there's a strong sense of loving yourself. Hi, Enchanted Mystic Oracle. How are you, my love? You know, um, so it's time to release energy. If you have, a, oh, I'm sorry, negativity, uh, negative energy. If you have any sort of negative energies uh, built up or held up against yourself, allow that to be released. Allow this Venus in Aquarius energy to really help you love yourself in ways that you've never loved yourself before, okay? Yeah, see, I told you, even though, okay, so the moon may be in, um, or was in Cancer yesterday, Wednesday, in today, hey, grow through love, uh, in today, which is Thursday the 25th, and then moving into Leo, here's the other thing, so think, emotions may have been really, really high, but another reason why this full moon weekend could be a pretty explosive period is because you may be finally to finally ready to express what emotions may have been coming up for you before you got to this actual full moon. Another reason why this full moon could be a pretty explosive thing, not because it's just in Leo and Leo is a very expressive energy, right? But emotions are high. Emotions have kind of been high all week. Okay, with the with the moon trans, uh, transiting from Gemini to, to Cancer and now into Leo. All right. So there are things there are things that are probably going to be released during this full moon weekend. Okay, there, there may ooh, just I'm just saying I'm just saying. But then finally, you do have a new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. I love that. I really, really love that for us. All right. I just want to I mean, this doesn't really feel like it's. Oh, well, newly single this week. OK, baby girl is back up on the market. I right, cool. But see, now we're not going to But see, we're not going to focus on the heartbreak. Enchanted Mystic Oracle, we're just going to focus on the fact that now someone better has the chance to scoop your beautiful ass up. Okay, I know that shit is right. So look, prosperity lies ahead. I don't feel like this is really anything too connected to what we were just talking about, but I like this message. It feels good. I want to put it out there, so we're going to leave it there. Yes? All right. Let's get some tarot, yeah? Do you want to get into some tarot about this? Let's use this one. We're going to use the Golden Art Nouveau. Got Golden Art Nouveau Jack. And let's just get some clarity, maybe some specifics. What other messages uh, we may have for us here in this full moon energy? <laughs> Release like you haven't had any since 89. I cannot stand you, Dee Dee. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, two more shuffles for this. And... Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm very happy to be here with you guys and just to chat and go through this all. All right. So let's see. What messages do we have for the collective in terms of this full moon in Leo? Full moon in Leo. Full moon in Leo. Nothing? Have we already talked about it all? Did we cover everything? Good God. It. I'm Wow. Shit, I did a really good job there. All right, so look, Eight of Wands is coming out here. Um, so this to me really good, really does feel like, and this is especially why prosperity would be lying ahead, because I feel like a good amount of clearing work has really, really happened during this Mercury retrograde. Let me tell you, and y'all know, I told y'all a little bit of it, but like Mercury in retrograde was pretty intense for me this, this round, because... A number of people and situations and circumstances resurfaced for me to deal with, 
Okay, and funny thing, funny, funny thing, because now for, for most of you, y'all know I ran into somebody a few weeks ago that was like, whoa, what's going on here? But then yesterday I ended up um, having dinner with some friends and a friend of mine was wearing a T-shirt that was kind of connected to the whole situation. And normally that T-shirt would have triggered me. But I look, but when, once I noticed it, it didn't even like I didn't even cringe. I just looked at it. and I was like, huh, look at that. Anyway, so so this last retrograde period and even this full moon, I honestly really feel like this retrograde to this full moon is a perfect way for us to just release. And the reason why we have this Eight of Wands energy here is because it really feel like feels like the floodgates are open y'all okay the path is clear if you and, and and trust me i really want you guys to express that weirdness within you go in that direction that is not normal for you do that thing that you would normally be ashamed to do like oh my god that's so taboo venus in aquarius loves taboo okay i mean venus is kind of like she's not all she's not really I mean, she's the empress. She's unconditionally loving, okay? But when Venus gets into Aquarius, man, things can get real weird real quick, okay? And I really kind of want to, uh, like, allow you to allow yourself to express that. Have fun with that. Don't put any more blockages in your way, okay? Just don't do it. Just don't do it, honey. You just be you and have a great time, all right? I want to clarify this. Let's talk about this. Emotions are high. All right. Emotions have been running real high this week. Real high this week. So what do we have? What can we say to the collective about these emotions running high? Maybe some of this explosive energy that could happen over the weekend. What do you have for us in terms of this full moon? Oh. Okay. All right, so check it out. Even though emotions have been high over this period and up until now, um, I, I honestly, I really feel like y'all have really answered a serious call to deal with things. <laughs> I love it. Um, to really deal with things, okay? There's a call that went out that seems to have been answered. At the bottom of the deck, you do have judgment, okay? Now, what we have here in terms of our emotions are running high. There is a definitely a, there. I mean, there's definitely a desire to break or has been a desire to break out of the status quo or to break out of the norm. You have the four of swords. You have the hierophant. You know, this is my best friend right here. The fucking hierophant. Yikes. But you also have that with the nine of cups and the ten of swords. So some of this explosive energy, some of this, some of the reason why emotions have been running high is because there may have been a feeling lately of not being able to express yourself fully, not being able to say what it is you really want to say, not being able to show how it is you truly feel, not being able to, or if, at least feeling like you're not able to go in the direction that you would want to go in. And now I feel like you're breaking free from that. I feel like there has been a meditative moment here, Four of Swords, in which you have been figuring out or thinking about all the different ways that you have been trying to pigeonhole yourself. <laughs> We've got three on the list, kids. Um, thinking about ways that you either have been pigeonholing yourself or how you have been pigeonholed, how you've been trying to fit in a box, and that's just not working for you. And so now the call here is to end this in service of greater fulfillment and satisfaction. Okay. So that I really feel it. So so even though even though yes. This full moon is in Leo in terms of a sidereal astrology. And yes, Leo is a very expressive energy. Again, I just feel like this was so, such a perfect time period for us to really get down to the bottom of what it is or how it is we truly want to express ourselves. Okay? Uh, Mercury being in retrograde in Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is a very conformist energy, a very um, a confining energy. It's all about hard work and, 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 and due diligence and doing the work. But with Mercury going through Capricorn in retrograde, Mercury being a very scientific, inquisitive energy about learning and communication, I, especially with 
Venus being in Aquarius and Venus feeling just like a very personal energy right now. I feel there at least this the last few weeks has been an excellent way to figure out how you can better express yourself. And now that we are Mercury direct coming up on this first full moon in Leo, now is the time to start releasing all of the negativity and all of the ways that you have not been able to authentically express yourself. All right. Last thing I want to look at here. Do you, do you hear my landlord? Do y'all hear my landlord? He is having a ball up there, honey. I love it. He is just, ha he's been having a good old time all day. And I can't, like, I love living here just because, like, the family that I live with in this, like, in this place, they're amazing. They're beautiful. I just love them so much. Um, last thing that I want to look at is believe in the impossible. And I just want to get some sort of encouraging messages here for us in terms of believing in the impossible. Yeah? In terms of this uh, full moon energy. Because to be honest, Leo, Leo is the type of energy to, to stand there and look you dead in the face and say, why can't you do that? I support you. Go ahead with your bad self. You think, hey, hey, they got it going on over here, y'all. They about to do the damn thing. Like, I feel like Leo would be that encouraging energy to go after what it is you feel you need to go after. Oh, shit. Well. There is only one card that has come out here, you guys, on Believe in the Impossible. And it's none, uh, Huey, it's none other than the Tower. So this is what we're talking about here, guys. Okay? <laughs> maybe, then maybe that's just the type of Leo I am. <laughs> Claudia is like, I need some of those Leos. Haven't met one yet. Yeah, maybe that's just me. I'm that type of Leo. Hi, Hubert. So anyway, um... Believe in the impossible. All of this energy, this Mercury retrograde energy that we just came out of that was moving through Capricorn, that was really helping you break free of some shit that may have just been like really stagnant in your life. You have the tower. All right. So this is clarifying believe in the impossible. Why are we saying the, the tower is clarifying believe in the impossible? Because the tower is that moment when a longstanding belief or a longstanding structure is now crumbling to the ground, is now being destroyed and space is being made for that which you truly desire to come into your life. And at the bottom of the deck uh, supporting this, you have the wheel of fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, all right? So if you've really been doing this clearing work, if you've been doing this he this healing work, then you now have the space for something magical, something brand new, something that is really, and I'm feeling something very dear to you, um, very close to your heart. You you have now cleared the space, tilled the soil, and now you can plant the seeds for anything, all right? Don't limit yourself, you guys, okay? Leo ain't about to be limited. And you definitely are not going to try and limit the sun, right? Because the sun rules Leo. So how are you going to limit yourself like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So closing message from the tarot here. Here we go. In terms of this Leo full moon energy, closing message, please, spirit. What closing message do we have for the collective right now? Okay. Woo! Yikes. All right, at the bottom of the deck, you have the devil. <laughs> but this isn't a bad thing because I feel like you, you are free of the devil. I really do feel like you're free of the devil, of, of some sort of chains, some sort of bondage, something that has been really holding you down. You have that with the Ace of Swords. The Seven of Wands in reverse, but I like this. I like the Seven of Wands. <laughs> I, li I like the Seven of Wands in um, reverse, coupled with the Ace of Swords. Because what this is saying to me is the Ace, the Seven of Wands is about like extreme, uh, is about boundaries, maybe sometimes extreme boundaries. The Seven of Wands is about overcoming something. And with this coupled with the Ace of Swords, I feel like you are kind of able to release some of these boundaries that you may have put up in order to keep yourself away from the devil. 
or away from some sort of toxic energy, some sort of confinement. This definitely could have been, especially when we're talking about this energy of Aquarius, of Venus being in Aquarius and expressing yourself, loving who you truly are, um, loving all the weird parts about yourself, expressing some of the more weird or unconventional or, or, or maybe even taboo parts of yourself. That would have been the energy of the devil. Now, this is Capricorn, right? And Mercury was in retrograde in Capricorn. Mercury is still in Capricorn, but now it's direct. So I feel like here with, with this Mercury retrograde having happened and now going into the expressive Leo, I feel like you are able to cut yourself free and not have to keep up so many boundaries or blockages. I heard specifically blockages around your heart. You have that with temperance and strength. So there's a level of understanding. There's a level of compassion coming through. There's also a level of balancing the ego with the soul, the ego with the spirit. And it's that ego and the conditioning of the ego that's going to keep you in a level of, whoa, I can't, I can't do that. I can't express like that. That's taboo. That's no good. Man, man, man. But now it's just like, you know what? Especially with this full moon in Leo, I am who I am. I am what I am. I love who I love. I love what I love. And I'm going to express that. I'm going to be that. I'm going to be that to the truest, the fullest of my extent, the fullest that I can possible. So if any of you are having trouble with any of this, you can definitely lean on the energies of Leo, this Leo full moon in sidereal astrology. You can definitely lean on those energies to help you push yourself to expressing who it is you truly are or what it is you truly want. This doesn't have to be a situation in which you were disconnected from yourself. No, you could have been disconnected to yourself all along. You could have known you wanted to do this all along. But now is the time to actually allow yourself to do this, to express this. Okay, guys. There you have it. 